Hey everyone, so welcome to another quick tip video. Um, in this one, I'll share with you a few tips uh, on how to learn anatomy for artists. Now, these are things that I've learned over the years. Some of them I wish I knew before, but um, hopefully it will help to expedite your process so you can learn anatomy much more quickly and more efficiently. All right, but you know what? Before I say anything else, the most important thing I'll say to you is to start simple, all right? So let's get started. And of course, a quick show of my appreciation for everyone who supported my books, Pen and Ink Drawing, A Simple Guide, and uh, the Pen and Ink Drawing Workbook. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And for leaving your reviews on Amazon, uh, on Goodreads. All that support, guys, means the world to me. Um, and also, I'm trying to work on uh, having the uh, spiral version of this available. I know it's much more convenient to be able to have a spiral book so you can lay the pages flat and practice in it. So that's something I'll definitely be working on. So keep an eye out for that, as well as the PDF version. I've gotten a lot of requests for that. So that's something I'm definitely working on. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. So anatomy can be intimidating, right? There's no doubt about that. Uh, there's uh, a lot to learn. But the key thing is you don't need to know everything to draw a figure as well, all right? And the key is to start simple. So don't try to learn everything at once. You know, you're not in medical school, all right? You don't need to try to uh, memorize the entire Gray's Anatomy book, all right? So take things slow, and it's fine to learn a little at a time. Don't feel like you're in a rush to learn everything, because you possibly can't, and you'll hinder your progress by doing that. So the first thing is I always advise is to uh, learn bones first. Now, bones are very important for learning the body's uh, proportion, uh, structure, and also for understanding the attachment point of muscles. Now, of course, as I said before, you don't need to learn all the bones, all right? So, for example, you don't need to know every single uh, bone that makes up the skull, all right? Start with learning the basic framework and uh, how the parts relate to each other in terms of proportion, in terms of volume, in terms of structure, and so on. You see, the bones are responsible for most of the landmarks that you'll use to establish your anatomy. So, for example, when you're drawing the head uh, or portraits, right, uh, the main landmarks that we use, for example, were uh, the eyes or the, the eyebrows are the base of the nose, uh, the chin, the ear. All of those landmarks are really marked by bone. All right. So, for example, even in terms of knowing uh, the proportions of the body, all right, all of those things are based on bony landmarks. So the more familiar you are with the bones of the body in terms of their proportion, you know, because remember, bones don't contract, you know, they stay the same. They're pretty consistent. Unless you're seeing, of course, the body in a foreshortened view, they pretty much stay consistent. You know, uh, muscles contract and relax. So they change in size, they change in volume, they change in length, but the bones pretty much stay the same. So once you know the bones, you know, it is uh, minimize the amount of work you have to do in getting the figure down correctly. And not only do the bones help with the proportion, but as I said, they help with structure as well. So for example, understanding the planes of the head, you know, the planes of the head follow the planes of the skull. So for example, uh, understanding where the front plane starts, the side plane, all of those planes follow the structure of the skull. That's why sometimes you see drawing uh, and practices in drawing students, they would do lots of studies of the skull in order to draw the head. And you you know, that's pretty much the correlation. The more familiar you are with the structure of the skull, it's much easier to draw the head. You know where the wrinkles are, you know where the bumps are, you know where uh, the muscles attach and so on. So it's really important to pay attention to understanding the bones first. And as I said, you don't have to know every bone, all right? It's more important to be familiar with their general proportion, their general shape, their general volume, their general structure, and how they relate to each other. And next, it's important to learn muscle groups and functions. Now, there are lots of muscles, but as I said before, guys, you don't need to know them all, all right? Focus on learning muscles in terms of their groups, you know, uh, their functions, their origin and insertions, and their impact on surface form, all right? So you don't need to memorize every muscle, all right? I don't think you even need to know every muscle's name. If you focus primarily on understanding their function. So for example, if you know that the bicep helps to uh, pull or to bend the arm and the triceps help to straighten the arm, that's very important because you know, if, it, if it's focused on 
uh, if the bicep is focused on bending the arm, then you know that it must be attached somewhere towards the elbow and somewhere towards the shoulder. And that helps you in having a sense of the spatial arrangement of the muscles, right? So for example, if you drawing, if you're drawing the arm, and I've seen this mistake made a lot of times, if you're drawing the arm in a certain pose, you know what muscles to emphasize because you know what muscles are most active in that pose. And by emphasizing that, you make it more believable because sometimes you don't have to draw everything you see. You can draw what you think is more important for accentuating the visual outcome you're trying to achieve. And the next one is to master the mannequin. The mannequin helps us to memorize the general proportions of the body. It's easy to draw, and it's a basic framework to visualize bones and muscles, right? Now, just like with drawing in general, right? The more you focus on the fundamentals, the easier it is to advance your drawing, right? Because it's easier to draw a box or a circle than it is to draw the human head. So if you visualize the head in simple forms, it makes it easier to draw. So likewise with the human figure, if you use a mannequin, not only it looks simple, I know, but it's really helping you to understand the general proportions of the body. And what that does is it, you start learning what looks right and what doesn't. You start learning, okay, you know what? This arm is too big. This head is too big you know, relative to the torso. This torso is too long. That's what the, purport, the mastering the mannequin does. It really helps you to fine tune your sensibility to the proportions of the body. You get a natural sense of that. And the best way to practice and acquire that is by using the mannequin. Okay, everyone. So those are three simple but really effective tips that can help you to learn anatomy quickly and more efficiently. All right. So the idea is, if you notice throughout this whole thing, is that you start simple. Don't try to overwhelm yourself by trying to memorize and learn everything because that, in, a, in fact, actually hinders your progress. It defers your progress because the thing is, you know, uh, you want to learn fundamentals first. So like the mannequin, focus, it helps you to focus on just paying attention to overall proportions and the relationship between the different masses in terms of volume, structure, space, and so on. Those are the more effective and fundamental things that are key for you to learn. And, uh, and paying attention to bones because it helps you to learn proportion. It helps you to learn how things connect and learning the essential structure of the body. And then in terms of the muscles, try to learn the uh, fundamental functions, you know, and uh, uh, the groups and so on where they're inserted and where they, they uh, uh, attach. So, for example, knowing where the bicep begins and where it ends, where the, um, the extensors of the arm or the flexors of the arm or the triceps is from the, uh, the elbow or the, the uh, humerus um, up to where the, um, the top of the humerus or the scapula is. So that way you know, you know where it, what's it, uh, its function, where it's it involved in, what types of movements will it most likely be emphasized or pronounced. So focus on the basic things. Don't try to memorize every single bone that's in the wrist, right? Just focus on the form itself, the overall form and mass and how that uh, relates to the overall form of the arm and proportionally and structurally. Those are the key things, you know, and don't try to learn too much too fast. All right. Learn the fundamentals, stick to them, master them, and then gradually develop your knowledge. Okay, everyone. So I hope you found this useful and something you can use to improve your drawings. I will be continuing this, uh, you know, one minute series, a quick tip series, just as a way of sharing little gems of knowledge that I think uh, is useful and uh, can be effective and applied into your drawing almost immediately. All right. Also, I have some more tips on anatomy. So if you want me to continue this as well, just let me know. I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, and again, thanks so much for watching. Remember to give the video a thumbs up, guys. It really helps a lot. And keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.